What's up guys, that's my VR to the um, yeah, Cobra for now 2000 subscriber giveaway. The giveaway is uh, titled uh, Made in USA with the hashtag in the front of Made in USA. Uh, the way to enter is very easy, you gotta be a subscriber of course. You gotta show him um, something made in USA or something you would like to, make this, to be made in the USA, sorry. Uh, there's a couple of price, interesting prices. I'm assuming he said based on what many people are gonna enter, they're gonna evolve a little bit. We had more stuff. Uh, I would like to say, first of all, also before I even start my mention, what is for me the stuff that I like to do in the video is actually give my big uh, congratulations to him because 2000 subscribers is a really good, uh, um, very important chapter in our life or YouTube channel. And I would like to say that he really li I really like his channel, the funny guy. He likes guns, as all we do. <laughs> he also has different hobbies, like Funko Pop guys and all that stuff, and knives and all that stuff. Um, that's it. Uh, that being said, I want to show the two items that I picked up for being made in the United States. Almost gun related, almost. <laughs> First of all, something I found in my workshop here. It's an East Wing hammer, um, ball pin hammer, which I use for some of the project. And gun related project mostly, but not only. Um, this one is completely made in the United States and actually in Illinois too, which is weird. As you can see, I like it because it's an anti-shock um, handle, which helps a little bit when you are using it very often. Uh, it's, uh, like I said, it's a fairly expensive hammer for an hammer, for the size hammer, but uh, the kind of deal will not last you forever when you buy one of those. Like I said, it's, it's made by one entire piece of metal, uh, steel, whatever it is, I'm not sure about it, all the way on the back. And it's covered, like I said, with this rubbery. Uh, I think you can find this one normally at Home Depot or something like that. Uh, I really love it. It's really comfortable for like I said, I'm using it for a bunch of projects. The only thing made in the United States is weapon shield. Again, I'm not endorsed by this company, but just something I really like to use on my gun. And they make different products. Um, there is an oiler, um, cleaner, and lubrificant product. And then they have also, let me see if I can find the enemy. And they make also solvent which is very useful, especially in guns like as the AR-15 uh, which the ball carrier and, and some other parts get really nasty and they also make a grease, which I don't use normally but it's a really, from my heart, it's a really good product too uh, what I like to be made in the United States is finally 100% made in the United States, okay which is a couple of companies started making them but with some, um, you know, M results uh, some of them are almost there um, they're getting, I probably heard this, like DDI is almost 85% of it, or they're deploying uh, the, the answer to that. But that's it, they were like a nice make in America AK. <laughs> well, one of these days. That's it, uh, was my VR to the <coughs> Made in USA contest, 2000 subscriber giveaway for the Korea Cover Burnout. I like you, thank you for watching. I would like to thank Korea for now for uh, having this contest and wish him to get reached to 3,000 subscribers pretty soon. Bye.